I kind of like feel like crying. I f so, do you guys ever just feel like you need to cry? I'm so excited to play this. I might regret it. <laughs> because it's emotional, but I'm excited. Oh my god, that scared the heck. I've heard nothing but good things about this. I'm honestly so excited. I need to cry. I'm ready. I'm ready to cry. It's so pretty. They hit a tree. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways! <laughs> oh no! Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is gonna kill us! Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. <laughs> Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Aw, <laughs> oh, come on, I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What do you want? Not crash the car and evade it? That's asking too much. There we go. Got the sucker, let's roll. Okay, so we're gonna go up. Hey, wait, don't forget the car! Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. Uh, I really like the humor so far. Yeah, pizza's here. I do be a little hungry, but we just started playing. I'm like, <laughs> I can't just leave you guys already. <laughs> you like the point and click? Yeah, me too. I love point and click games. It is a little weird since we're moving, but like we're moving around. There's a rock. My pizza is different. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll have some of that. Thanks. I got this is <laughs> I got a weird pizza. I always get weird stuff. This is honey barbecue chicken jalapeno. It's really good. Sorry, I'm muting my mic while I eat it. <laughs> Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we can find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Hmm. Let's find a branch. A branch will do. I feel like that's the best option here. It's There's literally one right there. All right, this better work. What was that? I, I don't even... <laughs> It's some kind of an air ball. Uh, right. We need to get going for now. Right. <laughs> I hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> I don't really know where I'm supposed to go. This is so pretty. <gasps> hey, it's the piano. Ma, they're here. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. What? Night shifts. Love them or hate them? You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably gonna be another all-nighter, you know? I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. <laughs> and the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will. Don't forget the equipment, moron. They are so mean to each other. I don't get paid enough for this. Are we supposed to ship it? Like, 
So sassy. <laughs> Act one. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume? Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you pa what? Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a nine to five job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny, listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. So are we like, are we medical doctors or are we like science doctors? Like, <laughs> come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Oh my god. All right, we got our equipment. All right, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Maybe I should have explored before going up. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. <laughs> they're so cute. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. Cute. I really like the music, it's very pretty. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. Okay, uh, wait, who? Oh, this is the medical doctor that they were talking about? He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Ready to set up? Ah, uh, let me look around first. Gee, you know, I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. <laughs> Thanks for asking, though. <laughs> uh, you're gonna have to deal with it. I want to explore. A selection of readings from medical journals. What is down here? Oh, the bathroom. Something is sparkling. Oh, it's light. You can just turn it on. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries. We're the experts. Oh, crap. Standard procedures. Just keeping you on your toes. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's got just a day or two left, that's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. What? So what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The, yeah, okay, I asked that before it even came up. The moon! He wants to go to the moon. Oh. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That... I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paperboy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing! Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. All right, which of uh, which one of us plays detective? Oh, okay. I'm gonna choose Rosaline. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. Right, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Let's go. 
What's down here? Oh yeah, let me use the arrows, because... Painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. Painting of an animal of some sort. Casual painting of three people. I know, the house is beautiful, right? The creator did the music himself? Wow. That's... That's amazing. That's kind of like uh, with, like, Undertale. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. What's up? What's up? What's up? Here, take this. Received remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks. I was just going to ask for it. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. Oh my god. Johnny. Oh! <laughs> so, in the, how do you get to the menu? Oh, okay. I see. Whoa. Hey! I don't want to stop them, it's so pretty! It's beautiful! What you want? Keep playing. And qu oh my god! <laughs> what a little brat! Okay, can you show me around the house? Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe? I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! Uh, what would you like? We want... One trillion dollars! Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that! <laughs> huh? There is a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Mom put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... Oh my god. No, I'll go get it for you. My mother used to keep candies on high shelves too. Alright, I'll go get it. The kitchen's uh, door is right next to the stairs. Now go. Oh my god. Sassy, sassy girl. <laughs> oh, this is the bathroom. My bad. Turn the lights on. <gasps> Ooh, this is so pretty. I'm obsessed with this art style. Almost stepped on the paint. So maybe he was an artist. Oh, why does it cut off? Is that, is that like... I guess it's just like that. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplanted the Great Wikipedia Origami as the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom I'm about back. paper folding. For though it has many omissions and contains much that is apocryphal, uh, uh, or at least wildly inaccurate, it scores over the older, more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it is made of paper, and secondly, it provides numerous band-aids to make up for the inevitable paper cuts resulting from the reading of this book. That- no. I, that doesn't make any sense. That book broke my brain, thanks. There's that candy cane. Ah, yes. Even I can't reach it. <laughs> She's too small! What do we do? Am I supposed to just go tell them I can't reach it? Probably, right? Well, I mean, we could just grab one of these chairs, but I don't... Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Got it. Terrible calories. It's just a candy cane. Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. <laughs> okay, where do we start? I know! There's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see! It's weird. <laughs> we need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. The study? Was the study where we just went? The study. This is the book room. 
The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. The thickest book. I don't think that's it. Wait. What's the thickest book? Maybe we need to read this again? I don't want to read... Maybe I do need to read more then. No? That wasn't it. Wait. Oh wait, no, this is something else. Hold on, I'm so confused. The thickest book? Maybe the middle ones? The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Uh, maybe another year. Okay. <laughs> he chose his hiding spot well. Got the key, let's go! Oh wait, was that up? <laughs> we can open the funny room in the basement now! Not the funny room, I'm kind of scared. I'm not gonna lie. That's an actual book? Oh, that's so cool. You think we're the same person? I swear I wasn't like that when I was little. <laughs> this is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Okay. Wait, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, <laughs> we used to find all kinds of cool junks here. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. <laughs> Chest is locked. Of course it is. So I think we're supposed to go through this. Oh, no, 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 not up, not up. What are you doing? Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, the door is locked, but we have the key. It's like a cave in here. <laughs> oh, it's the origami room, I guess. The funny room. A rabbit folded out of paper. Broken music box. A stuffed toy platypus. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. I'm gonna take it. Alright. Which way? Am I supposed to like try to get through all of this? Like a maze? What like well uh there's really nothing I can do in here. Is that, is that all we needed? Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? What is this music? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so uh, we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Want to go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? <laughs> Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So, you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... I mean, let's... uh, let, Let's go. Let's. Let, you, yeah, you know what? Fine. Maybe you'll tell me more about those rabbits. Let's go check that old lighthouse out. I don't... Yeah, I wasn't sure what to pick there. There it is. We need to head south to the street and take the other path. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. <laughs> Listen, we can make the jump. Trust me. Is this how we do it? Can I take the stick? Oh no! My novelty beach ball! Someone broke it! Uh, <laughs> it was stupid anyway. But, but it's the bestest novelty beach ball I've ever had! Oh, who could have been so cruel? Uh, look, I'll buy you another one. No, don't do it! You will? Sure, but we kind of need to get going now. I don't know if this is correct. It's smoking. Who's the dummy that crashed the car? Not me. It's pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We roleplay it away. What? Tommy's a super powerful knight, and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Oh, that's a... Uh, that's nice. <laughs> Do you roleplay too? I, uh... No. 
She's not cool enough to do it. Hey, I could if I wanted to. Just you children watch. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend to be a wizard. Yeah, I guess maybe this is where we're supposed to go. Oh, a squirrel! One that is alive. Oh no, it's a terrible squirrel gun. Wait, what? Wait, there's combat in this? Are we in a fight? Don't worry, children, I'll protect you. This is so cute! I don't want to kill the squirrel. The best defense is a good offense. <laughs> what? I don't know what to do. I don't want to hurt it. I'm going to yell. Your uh, time is at an end, squirrel gone. Yeah! Stop it! Or we tell Ma you animal abuse! <laughs> Yeah, she'll call the cops on you! What? I, I was just- I wasn't gonna- Didn't you say you like role-playing? <laughs> so cute! You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just forget this happened. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that. That was so cute. A lot of birds around. Oh. Hold on. What is that over there? Oh, is this the grave of his wife? Ooh. In memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles. Was she John's wife? Don't know. Come on, the lighthouse is right there. So interesting that we're like learning about him this way. He likes to make origami bunnies. He wants to go to the moon. Oh my gosh. This is it. What the heck? Why are there so many? Also, how are they blocking me? It's just paper. Oh, this time it's not. Okay. A multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have came here before he fell ill again. This is the only one with two colors, huh? You know, these things actually look pretty hard to fold. Kind of an odd hobby, though. Oh, that's my phone. It's Watts. Is everything ready? Alright, I'll be right there. Why do you have a creepy ringtone? Because it scares the monsters away. Come on, let's head back. Got the paper rabbit. Oh, is it going to put me back without having to walk there? Oh, thank you. Lovely. What is that around his head? Oh, why don't you be late another half an hour? Not like we got a dying client or anything. Uh, I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. Get off your high horse. I'm late. Just this one time. And you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are, because I'm competent. <laughs> Why is he so rude? <laughs> Your helmet's on the couch. Chop, chop. To the couch. Where is the couch? Is this a couch? Oh, this is, this is, this is a couch. Okay. All right, here we go. This is so interesting. Are we gonna like tap into his brain? Whoa. This should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get in. At any time you can view your position in time by moving the mouse towards the top of the screen. Okay. Oh my god, we're gonna go through his whole life? What? His last accessible memory. I don't really know where to go. I don't think they said, but I would think that we gotta go to the, the lighthouse again. I, I would think because 
the lighthouse is where... Am I going the right way? No. Well, they said he made the, the new origami. So I would think that's where he was. In his last memory. Johnny? Wait, we actually have to talk to him? Oh, what a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. <laughs> are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. Oh my god. He doesn't know. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. <laughs> Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Eh, it's just a program, you know. I know, but this is his last accessible memory and we need its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You... You're here to talk... Or, or that. You're here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. <laughs> it's fine, you can tell us. It's essential for helping us to get you there. To go there. Do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just... I can already tell that this is going to be a pain in the butt. <laughs> Nevertheless, Johnny, here is what we will do. We need to get to your childhood, but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps. Which you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you to become an astronaut. Or to get on a giant catapult. The point is, you'll need to have more to say than just, I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. This poor guy, he just wants to go to the moon. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? <gasps> it's the rabbit. That'll do. Well, shall we? Ladies first. Received note moon. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Whoa. Click the orbs to flip the pieces. The me memento can now be activated for a traversal. Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, that's a lot of origami bunnies. He's gonna play the piano too? It's so pretty. 
turn off visibility and interactivity. It'd be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah. Happy? <laughs> We're invisible. Jeez, what's with all these rabbits? I've been calling them bunnies. This is creeping me out. We probably should have checked his record for psych psychopathy first. What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just a part of this memory. <gasps> then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit blabbering and find a memento here to, hu to hop from. The platypus? Right? Maybe? It's not the platypus. Okay. Good to know. Clock is moving but soundless. What does this clock make me think of? Well, you know what I've been watching finally? <laughs> the new season of Stranger Things. A memento? Well, aren't you special, having two colors when all your siblings look like they drowned in bleach? What's that? You think you're really creepy? Why, yes, I agree. So I guess we're just, like, clicking on anything that, that, like, stands out. I feel like this platypus should count, but I can't really get over there. Maybe if I... I don't think I can get it. No. Okay, but we can go... Oh, there's an umbrella. And we can go upstairs. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> So many mementos here. What is this, a million years old? I guess we'll find out. The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. Hey, that's like in the Final Fantasy XIV. Is that an actual book? A glass bottle of pickled olives. <laughs> I hate this stuff. What's to hate? It's pickled olive. Exactly, I'm with him. I do not like olives at all. Fresh wildflowers. We got everything. I think. Memory links established. You can now travel with the memento. Umbrella. Okay, cool. Wait! I could have sworn that should have... Hold on. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. Hadoken! What the was that? What? That's it. I'm doing the breaking from now on. Oh, can we go that we can go diagonal? Oh. Perfect. Fun! I like puzzles. I didn't know there'd be puzzles here. I like that. Oh. When it comes to rain, through is better than onto. I don't mind it regardless. Seems like these memories- memory hops only span a short period of time. We need to find a leaping memento, or it's going to take forever. Meh, just enjoy the scenery. <laughs> He's got the platypus again! Honestly, I just don't think that animal has the right to exist. The world's not big enough for the two of you. Oh my god! What about the grave? Yeah. Okay. What would- is the umbrella also one again? Probably not. I mean, the thing is, the- the rabbit was, so... It's finished, River. Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every- Or oh, wait. Like you, I'll be able to watch over her every day. She won't be alone anymore. Wait, who? I might never understand why, but I stay true to your wish. I'm sure Anya is grateful to you too. But when I'm gone... 
Who is going to watch over us? Stop! Nope, I'm not gonna cry yet. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Who are you? My name is Eva. I was just passing by. Was she your wife? Yes, her name was River. That's a special name. It didn't need to happen. Hmm? She... She didn't need to do it. But she... You wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. The music is so pretty. I'm holding it together, though. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Stop. River is such a pretty name. <sighs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Receive note, Anya. Yeah, who's Anya? About time you got here. I almost thought you fell off the cliff. <laughs> what were you doing? Enjoying the scenery, what else? Any luck here? Big luck. Huge! Dinosauric! <laughs> huh? This place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse. What do you expect? Anyway, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun re-breaking the barrier for yourself. Okay. Wow. Oh, I think we need to get more stuff, though. Wait, I'm still missing one thing. <gasps> oh, I'm- wait. What are you doing? Oh, I think that's good. Ideal shows the minimum of moves? What the heck? <laughs> uh... Oh, I'm good. Yeah. That's right. Oh. Oh no. Just enough. The platypus! <laughs> After we pay for your operation, we'll just have enough left for it, so don't you worry. White lie. That's what you call it, right? No, I'm sure we can just stop it. I don't like it when you lie. I calculated our finances. I know how it's like. Why do you try to convince me against my will? We need the money for your medical bills, River! I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this... This is just too much. I mean, she... She isn't even... Do you know what makes me happy, Johnny? What? Do you? Well, I do. I just hope you can help me with it. River. Wait, is that their daughter that they're talking about? When the papers for my treatments get here, I will not sign them. What you do with our money is up to you. But if you would grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day that you live here, there, I want you to watch over her. Visit her, speak to her, comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. Who? And what about you? Happy. I'll be happy. Oh, I don't like this. Wh who is Anya? Johnny. Yes? I made this. Tell me what it is. Are you kidding me? What? Just tell me what it is. It's a rabbit, like all the others you made. 
Oh, so she made them. He didn't he didn't make them. She made them. What else? Um, it's made of paper. What else? Its body is yellow and the rest is blue. Good. What else? Look, River. I wrote a song. It's for you. Okay. Well, would you like to hear it? Yes? You didn't have to bring the piano in here for this. I can hear you just fine with the door open. <laughs> That's so cute. It's called For River. Why so cliche? It's just a placeholder. That's the song? Are you kidding me? Who is this Anya they were talking about? If she's so important, shouldn't we have seen her in the late in his late memories? I guess he didn't keep that promise after all. Unless unless what? Never mind. Hey. That's the same song the kids were playing earlier, huh? I guess he taught them. You know what? I'm too manly for this. I'm heading on. I already got my memory links. You want to hitch a quick ride or look around yourself? Oh my god. Go on ahead. I'll catch up with you. Don't you miss the days when memory audio to MP8 conversion was legal? I think I brought home over 2,000 songs during my first year on this job. This song alone is about to make me cry. I... I will not be broken, though. Not yet. <laughs> oh. Oh, we can we can still hear hear his heart beating. I just realized that. Oh my god. You can see the notes collected at the menu. Oh right. Okay. The Moon and Johnny's memory is full. Song Johnny wrote for his deceased wife. Its title is a placeholder. Someone John and River care for. Yeah, I don't know who Anya is. Can I not go downstairs? There's no arrow. Oh, I can. Whoa. Are these their... Wait, what? I'm telling you, there's just no way. What if we take it apart? Look at us, John. We aren't exactly at the ripe age of piano moving. Oh! You know what? If this means that much to you, I'll pay for the professional to do this. I can't help saving that house for you, so this is the least I can do. Oh my god. Someone really likes pickled olives. I have everything already. tough, man. <laughs> Hold it together. We're gonna figure out who Anya is soon. I feel like maybe it's their kid? I don't know, though. Oh, we need to find the actual memento. The way this song like crescendos is so beautiful. Maybe it's the lilies. Yeah. Ideal four. I don't think this was correct. Oh no. Oh no, it's definitely not. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> Seven! No way, I'm not even done! Oh, because of that. No, this one's hard. 
My bad. My, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Um. Yikes. No. <laughs> Here we go. The music is still playing. Stop it. I'm leaving. God. Oh, they're bu he's building the house. <laughs> Look what we have here. I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there he is. He's building it by himself? Isabel? Nick called and said I should come. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? I heard about River. Will she be okay? Her, il her illness was just diagnosed in its late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. With the medical bills. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay, but... You don't know how much this place means to her. She's going to be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have been barely getting by since the market crashed. What are you going to do now? I'm... I'm going to tell her that we can make it. I'm gonna tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. I don't understand, Isabel. If she found out, I'm not sure which she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. It's what she really wants. I really dislike when you neurotypicals think you know what's best for us. <laughs> what? <laughs> Love this. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. <gasps> Do you think this is all about her? God dang neurotypicals. What about me, Isabel? <laughs> After all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? I do want to be alone, Isabel. Or I don't want to- Oh, sorry, I do not? I, <laughs> I'm not gonna let her die. <laughs> That's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. I'll at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick wanted me to give you this. What's this? He said it's called Everything's Alright. A book? It isn't. Poor Johnny. Is it a book? I can't tell what it is. Oh. This music is beautiful. Can we go inside? The house. Whoa, I'm in. I think that was it for in here, but I I'm still missing one. No, two. I'm missing two things. Oh, she said it was a music box. Oh, <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't remember her saying that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Sometimes my reading comprehension is lacking when I read out loud. I don't know if anyone else relates to that. Sometimes it, sometimes it goes right over my head because it's like I'm more focused about how I'm saying it. Does that make sense? I'm gonna try to do better on this puzzle. Three is ideal? I don't know. <laughs> My brain is breaking. 
right now. That's probably not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> no, I, I... This is certainly not correct. Oh my god. This is so bad. This is pain. How do you do this in three tries? Um... Oh, that's why I needed to do a diagonal. <laughs> the olives! We're gonna meet Anya? So you guys are really going for it, huh? Yep, the construction's starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze. We had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful, having your dream house built at such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at that lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that special about it. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a get-together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers. I'm gonna drink this pickle juice. I mean, pickled olive juice. <laughs> Be right back, I'm gonna get some fresh air. Me too. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while, hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river, still so quiet, huh? Eh, she's actually been talking of at home, and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. <laughs> so I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh, hey. So did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yes, lots of them. <laughs> I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbits day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Didn't Isabel say that something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes. She said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get too worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably? I'm always right, John. <laughs> Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits, we've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory, and there are no memories anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw out one from him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit first. Hey there! Can I get you anything? Hey yo, can I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Check. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? You're so getting resetted. Oh my god. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hello, could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here are your pickled olives. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I mean, it's a simulation. It's fine. It's totally fine. Why, is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah. Are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. Just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. 
Mind if I join you? Sure. Why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Oh, yeah. That sounds just swell. Eva, disable taste simulation. Now. <laughs> oh, Neil, I don't think I feel like it. <laughs> I'm so gonna get you back for this. So that's how we got our first toaster. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You okay there? Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could uh, find such things to be disgusting. Take your time, we've got two bottles left. Oh my God. So I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agree. What? <laughs> and you know what else is wrong with society today? <laughs> yeah, I actually have it right here. Why? May I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally, dear lord. How are the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> Not the olives. Wait, oh, don't worry. Oh, cause he's, he, he's breaking it and he's, yeah. Hulk smash! <laughs> Neil, seriously. I'm trying to get into this and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. I'm so bad at these, here we go. Oh my god, wait. I don't think that was correct. <sighs> I can't do diagonal that way. Yes, I can. Wait, I just... Guys, I just made it. <laughs> I just emptied it. That works. <laughs> okay. Well, it took double, but... My bad. Look how pretty that is! The sunset. The autumn leaves. <laughs> Crikey nutcrackers! You aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a flagpole. Just jump down. It's not like you can It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay on here. You can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear if this place <laughs> Eva, what the Wuss. What if they saw it happen? I mean, I know we're invisible, but... Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is. Now that everything has GPS and all that. Oh. Wait. Is the lighthouse named Anya? Look, River. This place means a lot to me, too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm sure... We'd be able to see her from the window? Yeah, I think this is Anya. In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And... And we could walk here anytime? She'll never be alone again, John! I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they are happy. Let's move on. Why? Why would she make... Why would River make John choose 
her or a lighthouse, and she wants him to choose the lighthouse. Why? Why? Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then that river, she declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? That's what I'm saying! Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but ugh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. <sighs> there they are. Am I supposed to follow them? This music, stop it. I played this game to cry, but I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> okay, so now we need to find the thing. Oh, a bun, a rabbit. I said bunny. Got it. Alright, seven, not bad. Not bad. The first, is this the first rabbit ever? River? Where are you? Oh my god. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits? Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah? Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Uh, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy? And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. strange river is something wrong river uh do the do these rabbits have like notes in them or something i don't know about you but i'm getting some inverse deja vu i think i know of her condition but this is rather odd even for that you think she's do you perhaps who knows but like you said, she's not our client. What? Let's just get what we're paid for over with. So this is the day she started it, huh? A bucket? Many long strands of orange hair. In the bucket? <laughs> Why is her hair in the bucket? Is that where she cut her hair? Uh oh. I think I know where this is going. Oh, the plain paper. The piano? An old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. That's... that's Doctor Who, right? Not really, you can't even get it through its door. Mm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the butt for everyone. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither, it sounds pretty epic. Here we go. 
time for another puzzle that I am terrible at. <laughs> It's so hard because you have to like take into consideration like the ones that will, you know. Wait, I shouldn't have done that. Oh no. Wait. I'm sorry! I should probably save. I haven't saved. I played for 12 minutes. That's how long I played when I tried. I thought maybe a little longer than that. It was 12 minutes. I don't know what happened. I maybe I I kind of feel like maybe I had like a headache or something like that. I can't remember. Okay, the music stopped. Dearly beloved stops. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? <laughs> Don't judge. Oh, there's the backpack. Oh, look how cute they are! Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Oops. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. It's not up to you, Watts! Wow. Here we go! <laughs> oh man! Oh, this one's easy. Oh heck. Let's freaking go! Yeah! Right, like no one cares about your preferences, what? <laughs> Everyone with it is different, John. What? Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Oh, they share the same syndrome. I didn't realize that. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? 
I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But, you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me, I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because... Sorry, this one, this one, that, that hits a little too close to home for me. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but River, she never did that. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I did not expect this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't expect this type of theme here. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm good now. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. <laughs> the Isabel that people know of is all an act. And the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end I just envy her. I've never met a woman with it before. But technically, you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business. Let's move. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I... <sighs> that was that was really hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. It's just that I, I related to that, you know? The world would be a lot more beautiful if people just remembered faces more. Oh, here she is. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's New Clothes. Oh yeah! I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. <laughs> when I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. I know. Your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah. That was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one. Oh, I can't go through there! Wait. I think she's checking out. Ah. Yeah, I need to, like, check my makeup. Like, I knew it was, like, about a guy... ...who's, like, dying. So, like, that's- that's what I feel like- or what I thought I was gonna cry to. 
Yeah, that was embarrassing. I apologize. <laughs> I couldn't keep it together. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Because I, I can't go through here. Wait, can I, like, walk outside? No. Oh, maybe him. I don't know if I did that. John? Ah, oh, John! Of course it's... John. But what about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs. Oh, we already read that, didn't we? No? Yes? Really? Sort of. Wait. Oh. Do you know what animal David's main morph? Um. Wait. No, I've never- <laughs> Like I was just saying before, I've heard of Animorphs, but I've never watched it. Or read it. Or- I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna guess, though, because I have never seen it. Or I could let you guys tell me. I don't know. What do you think? Are we weeping yet? A little bit. I'm good now. I'm, I'm good. I, trust me. I'm totally fine. You don't have to be correct? Okay, I'll put... How many characters? One, two, three, four, five... How about... <laughs> oh, I can put more? No, I can't. I'm sorry, that's like the first five-letter word that came to my mind for some reason. Beside my own name. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry, I'll find out for you. What is it? You're not gonna tell me? Tell me! <laughs> Rox is my favorite. Tobias. Hawk. Rachel. Grizzly. Jake. Tiger. Marco. Gorilla. David. Cobra. Cassie. Wolf. Why? Oh, just wondering. You could have just Googled it. What? Okay, so there's that. Now he's over here. I'm not yours, you're not mine. Be my anti-Valentine. Hey, River, this one's not that corny. River? One more. Oh, he just said the answer over there. Wait, I forget though, hold on. I just put something random, one sec. It was David. Cobra. Okay. I get it. I get it. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, Cobra. I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Mm, I don't think that was the right move. Wait! Oh! Oh! Got him! Ah, uh, everyone's leaving already? But I just got here. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childless jabs for the insecure. Aged Animorphs book. Animorphs! I see le fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? Wow, I understood that reference. Or I, 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 under, I know what fromage is. It's like the only word I know in French. <laughs> Other than like, bonjour. The basics, you know? Okay, is this John down here? Are you John? What? Where's John? Oh! Oh, look how cute they are! Oh, they're so cute! Wait, what? We're gonna... Huh? Oh. Do you feel any different? 
Now that we got the rings on, I mean. No. <laughs> Why, do you? Oh, and they just, okay, I just realized it's their marriage. They, they just got married. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I think so. Oh, <laughs> what is it like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name Anya? <laughs> Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. Yeah. Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. This is so beautiful. What the heck? This can't be a good idea. I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just follow my steps. This is so cute! <laughs> Ow! My butt! I think you stepped on my toes! Sorry. Come on, let's try again. So nice. <laughs> to promise to love and comfort, to honor, and to keep in sickness and in health for as long as you shall live? I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lawfully wedded husband? To promise to love and comfort, to honor, and to keep in sickness and health for as long as you shall live? Yes. <laughs> By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. Ack! The wedding! Uh, yeah, what did you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Fluids tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. <laughs> oh, did I say my eyes? I meant my mouth. And by fluids, I meant both fluids and solids. Stop. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Neil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness and joy is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh, whatever happened to just take it moment by moment? <laughs> this is so cute. Oh my god. Hello, friends. Family. Ah! Yeah. Hi. What are you smiling like that for? What? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> he just went like this. Well, I'd better go see how your aunt is doing. All right, Mom. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey. Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? As I'd rather you call me John. Ack, not another sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyway? I mean, you sure talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Joey. I am not prepared for what other things this game is gonna throw at me. I'm... <laughs> uh. Wait, I went back down because... No, maybe I should have stayed up. I don't know. 
The music in this game is just too pretty. This person is so good at the piano. There's so many things I want to, like, know about this game. Like, I want to, like, look up when I'm done with it. Like, about the creator and, like, you know? Oh, they're, they're here again. Wait. Or no, they weren't here before. Wait. <laughs> is this a cake? What do I examine? Oh, I'm so proud of Joey. I don't know. Maybe we go down. Oh, yeah. It must be. Oh, yeah. Okay. We got it. Oh, it's a rabbit! <gasps> Can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, relate. Wait, is that a rabbit? Think this is the source of all those folded paper ones? Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me, you are the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one when you do a cordless bungee jump. Oh, wait, what? I think I read that wrong. <laughs> Here we go! Puzzle time! Hmm. 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 <laughs> this one? Mm. Huh? It was, it deceived me. I thought it was tough, but then I was like, well. It was easy, actually. You know, it's a fantastic wedding when the mementos roadkill. Hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. Uh, so years later, she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story, Neil. <laughs> cool story, bro. Oh my god. <gasps> no! Poor thing. What's with all the road kills today? Don't you look at me like at that. Don't you look at me like that. Smells like a farm. And road kill. Deactivate the scent simulator or get away from here already. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we're like on a farm road. This looks like Pennsylvania. Oh! Pot. What? What did that say? Is it pot roast transit? <laughs> There's a horsey! <gasps> Hello! Whoa! Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what? <laughs> Don't not ride this horse? What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't not ride it. <laughs> yeah! Quit wasting time, Neil! Oh, crap. That can't be good. Ah, do something! Don't just stand there, help me! Dang it, this was not in the job description. Oh my god, Neil, what are you doing? I told you not to do it, and then you want me to help you? Oh, would you look at that? Cute. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay. She's not new to this anymore. But she has never done it by herself before. I'll be fine. I'm not a child. Ah! Ah! River! Ooh! What's the matter? Let's go! Hey, wait up! Oh, this is so cute! Huh? I wonder if Neil got off that horse yet. Yeah. <laughs> nope. This is this music! This is about 19% more than I can handle. What a moron. 
Better go save his bum. Oh my god. The music is beautiful. Kinda reminds me of like a... Oh, I can press space to gallop. That sounds like music you'd hear in like an anime. Wait, who is that? <laughs> Do I have to catch him? Come here! <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. He's all over the place. River. I probably have to get to John. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, okay. Where's John? John? Ah! No, that's not John. What? What do I do? There we go. Thanks! Hey, I found something here. Where'd he fall off? Ah, cool. What's that? Here, this memento will do. You'll have to line it up carefully with that horse, though. Don't look at me, I'm not getting on the that beast again. Cool. Oh, this music! Well, now what? I think I need to, like... Let's never speak of what just happened again. I don't know how to dismount. Oh. This music puts me in a good mood. Hmm. I didn't need to click that one! No! That wasn't it. You know, <gasps> let it be known, I was, I, I had it. I had it. Trust me. <laughs> He's a young man. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached a consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This is one by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other current legal affiliation. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'd help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there's a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Told you so. Can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. <laughs> Looks like someone took good care of it. She still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. Is that the the purse again? What the heck am I doing? Oh, oh! <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. A plain tawny handbag. Oh, that's the handbag. Two more things. 
the author of a series of books on River's condition. Is that a real author? What now? Just making sure his heart's still beating, you know? Oh, here we go. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's so funny because I was just thinking about that. I was just thinking that it was bothering me. It's not that severe. It'll be, I'll be okay. No problem. It's standard policy. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Thank you. Huh? I guess that explains the ones in this house. Or in the house. I didn't mean to do that. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. So, we'll probably go back up here then. Maybe not. Mm. Oh no, I have all of them. <laughs> Silly me. I need to go up on top of it. Riku, what the heck? Why are you hopping up here? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, that was good. Oh, look at that! Perfect! Wow! Theater? Oh my god, he looks so young now! Psst, look! I know, I can't believe he once paid to see this crap in theater! No, you idiot! Look, we leaped! Holy overcooked macaroni, the kid's in the theater all by himself. What a loser! <laughs> you go to the theater by yourself all the time! That's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. But that aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? And thus, this movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. Q-E-D. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. Whoa. Ooh, cool! Doesn't this make you want to go to, like, an old-fashioned cinema? What are you doing? That's the third person you're, you've removed here. Eh, not like it's permanent. Oh. Uh, wait, what? You could do that? Is there like a- there might be an achievement for removing everyone. You know that poking them uh, out of the way like this is nothing, right? Then why complain? Yeah, I'm having a good time. If there's an achievement, I want it. I don't think I can get rid of these two, though. We could just jump to the chair. He just did the thing. One more. They're all gone. <laughs> Getting stood up? Now that's a Kodak moment. You relate well with your kin, I see. Oh, he got stood up. What? 
Well, there's nothing here. Hate to say it, but I guess I have to nag something out of him again. All yours. At least there's no olives this time. Or are there? River? You were in there this whole time? I waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Huh? I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together and then you left. We weren't watching it together. I didn't even know where you were. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? We were watching the same movie in the same room. <laughs> That's so cute. What's wrong? You're so weird. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do. Come, let's head back in before it ends. I feel like I should make a clever remark. You feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. What's up with the lights? Oh, I have all of them. Oh, the- <gasps> It's here! The platypus! Oh yeah, professional, let's go. <laughs> you know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for the convenience, but hey. Come on, dude. Grow some balls. Um... It's not that. Look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, sheesh. What could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You strut on like nothing happened. No one will know and everyone will think you're cool. We'll still think you're cool. But what if she tells someone? Or yells at me? Don't be a little wuss! Or... Or says yes, but really means no? Quit worrying. Who would do that? And what if she throws an encyclopedia in my face? I don't even have a helmet. Dear lord, I'm so not prepared for this. Dude, don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell him. Everything will be alright. Just turn around. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey, what are you... Shh. Um. Uh, <clears throat> Hello. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Then why didn't you... Never mind. Um, that's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book? About platypus? Platypi. No. <laughs> No. Oh, I, uh, I think that's great. <laughs> hey, you wanna go? Lighthouses. Huh? There are exactly 16 second order Fresno lens lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them are coastal, and one of them was modified from a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Yeah, 
I'm starting to understand. Oh, is that what you're reading about? Um, say, you want to go catch a movie together sometime? <laughs> I don't know. That's okay. I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Oh, um, how about this Saturday at 8? Well? Eva, I think the system fro- Yes. Oh, great. Never mind. I guess we'll work out the details later? Um, I'll just... What? What are you looking at me for? You think I'm gonna call out how utterly awkward that was? Well, just forget it. I'm not giving you into your expectations. Give him a break, he was still just a kid. You of all people should relate. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. Well, I suppose if you look at it from the right angle. No, not really. Never mind. <laughs> What the heck were you doing in there, dude? What? I asked her out! No, that was pathetic! <laughs> if I were you, I would have just barged in there and be all like, Hey, you! Go out! Me! You! Now! <laughs> That's just terrible. I know. And I would have still been better than what you just did. It would have been. Sorry. They're so cute. I think John did a great job. Dear lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Aw, oh, come on, it's fun. Only if you can paint. You'll get good if you practice, you know? Oh yeah, he became an artist, I think. Yeah, right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. Quit complaining, I'm sure you'll learn to enjoy it someday. <laughs> yeah, that's such a beautiful painting he did there. Oh, wait. There's so much to explore in this school. Anyone? Oh. Anyone at all? Alright then. River, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Fine. I guess we'll have to. He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palos de la Frontera, which was founded in 1322, and granted to Alvar Perez de Guzman, who was at the merge, or at the mere age of 14 by the... Okay, okay, I only asked for the date. Let's see. Was that so hard? Good lord, does everyone with her condition have mere photographic memory? Not really, though I think their rote memory is often fairly strong. I, um... I am overwhelmed. Psst, she's coming this way! All tab, all tab! <laughs> hey, it's a bucket. That's a wrap. You chumps better be mm, better next time. An atrium. We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these court lines are rectangles in his head. <gasps> a piano! Oh, I keep doing that on accident. Oh, you know what? I should make sure I save. Like, I'm like so paranoid. Because I definitely don't think this is autosave. I'm really enjoying this game though. It's so good, but it's it's not what I expected and a lot a lot more relatable than I thought it would be. So. Ugh. 
fine, you win. Booyah! Oh, she's eating alone with her platypus. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. It's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit making words up. Anyway, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Uh, if you're in aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang with the emos and goths? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot, too. Look, Nick. I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid in the sea of typical people. But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean... You'd just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know. Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her? That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandmas tell you. Wait. So this guy's some kind of a human hogging hipster? That's sort of uh, disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school. Everyone's a jerk. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait. So this is what he told her about that? About oh yeah, yeah he was being truthful. I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago. I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table here. Oh, the... This backpack. Okay. I'm still missing something. Just love how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. It must have left as big a scar on his mind as it did on mine. <laughs> Stop! Should I even... No. I'm all good now. No, no need. I'm all good now. He's gonna do something ridiculous. Kame! Oh, for walnut's sake! Uh, me. <laughs> Not cool, Eva. You never. <laughs> what? Block someone in the middle of a command, man. What? can't handle <sighs> this is a lot he's just a child now you know I'll like discuss my full thoughts after the game but obviously I, I have a lot of thoughts I'm going to school now ma have a nice day Joey my baby boy growing up so fast 
Yeah, see, he's had that backpack since he was a kid. Ack! What if he was a girl? Would you still nickname him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends in E. Joey, Jewy, Julie. Sounds cute. If it sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, jealous? Oh yeah, so jealous. Oh my god. I see a soccer ball. Whoa. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. Yeah. Yes, it is. Very distracting. Oh, bleh. Not again. Holy crap, my mind's totally blown. Pretty easily impressed. Various books with smudged titles. Okay, I think that's it because I, I used one. Oh, a soccer ball. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> well... Oh, I'm getting good. What? Okay, we're gonna go to a soccer game or what? Hello? Oh. Oh! Ah! It smells like roadkill again! Where are we? Eva? What the heck is that? What is going on? Is this like a rift in time? That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going La Puta on us? I don't know. It's just not linking the memories together for construction. Just reset it. There must be a malfunction within the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. Can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry. We've already gotten the teenagers saved. We might still be able to do this. All right, but I ain't telling him about this. Uh, as long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. What? There's got to be a way to get over here. What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Act 2. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, we're out of it right now. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. And that's all this old fool knows. 
Sorry, I can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. I. All that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila! You'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you can make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you're merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is prepare. All we can do is prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. I couldn't do both at once, apparently. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not really enough. If you truly believe that, why did you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor. Is that what I truly am? Answer him. How rude. Whoa, what the heck? Ah, all of our night's work. Whoa. What's going on here? What the? At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. I'd ask if that's a, fun a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass his desire from the latest memory to the earliest. Line up two matching mementos on the edges to transfer the registered desire. Can I do it to these ones too? Hey Eva, check this out. Um nom 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 nom. Seriously? <laughs> There's nothing that can line up with these two things. Ah. Well, you can keep. Mm, wait. And then this. Okay. Alright, those are lined up. Uh oh. Probably just line the platypus up here. Oh no, we can't. Ah. Uh, the clocks. Well, then what? I might be doing something wrong here. Too bad we got a straggler here. No loss. We can do this without him. I know, but it feels incomplete. 
You get too attached. It's going to impede your abilities to do your job. That's rubbish. Don't pin your womanly ways on me. <laughs> oh my god, he's so toxic sometimes. <laughs> oh, I see. Like, they have to be, like, touching, touching. No, they are, though. The clocks are. I am so confused. I mean, this must be right so far. Oh, the book! I didn't even... How did I not see the book? But this needs to connect. What the heck? Ah! What? Oh, it doesn't have to keep connected! Oh my god! Okay, see, I'm thinking, like, the whole thing has to be connected. That makes it so much easier. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, that's embarrassing. I really thought they all had to be connected. Sorry. Ding! That's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me, I'm always ready. All right, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first. Not this time, hun. That's a little too early. Let's enter from a bit. Okay. Did you go to the moon, buddy? I'm gonna go to, like, the very last one. Oh, that's not the... Okay. <laughs> Second to last? Huh? I guess this part is still the same. Let's check somewhere else. How do I leave? I don't know how to leave, though. Maybe I should go up to them? Oh, okay. I doubt old man Johnny's going to the moon. I don't know. <laughs> this is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. Usually, there is at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same! That's impossible. Desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Oh? What is going on? If this is indeed the same memory, you'd be at the cliff, right? Of course. Of course. Hey, what's up, Fergal? How are you doing? Yeah? Doesn't look like he's been to the moon. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise! We don't get many visitors around here. It is the same. Deja vu again! My name is Dr. Eva Rosalina, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. <laughs> are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Reason two. What do we do? Well? Wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. It transferred successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. What? How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps. Perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can go to. Let's go. Weird! Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. 
Oh, oh, perfect. <laughs> what the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh, well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. All right, let's go then. Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where is Neil? What the heck? Neil, what are you doing? To the moon, darling! Oh, Henry. Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. <laughs> I need to traverse through- oh, right, right, right. I I'm sorry. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. <laughs> Alright. It looks the same. Eh. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. John, what's going on? Lily? What is happening? Perhaps something here could work. I don't have time for her right now. Wow. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face, huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. It's the chain reaction. Lunch? Oh. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... May I have your attention, please? As you know, I'm a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn Or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential It could be you Or you or, perhaps... You! But well, I don't want to go to the moon! Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? <laughs> no? Why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no? Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. <laughs> to start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> oh my God. Especially if your name's John. <laughs> well, what did you think? 
NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm, I do try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if that worked? Of course, be right back. Back. Report? Utter failure. Goose. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as? Well... We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. But can you afford the Lunar Trip Lottery? <laughs> if you sell this house, you sure can! Is the diagnosis certain? Yes. Oh, oops. Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true for both you and your spouse. Oh my god. Free pony rides in space! <laughs> oh, look, a wedding! Good for you! But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for your honeymoon? Stop, this is so funny. What? <laughs> River? Dang, Nabbit, Glass, Slippery, Johnny, jo John! <laughs> what the cucumber? <sighs> oh. You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known that we'd uh, be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. You know, I would have wanted to go to space if I had heard those things. Free healthcare? Or good healthcare? Sure. <gasps> Doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless, unless the secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all things, what exactly caused it? River? Just what exactly did you do? Ah, the sun's rising. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. I'm stressed. We took a nap outside. Ugh, you can smell that squirrel meal ran over all the way from here now. <laughs> so much roadkill! Everything okay? The heartbeat's still going. How is John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just- we just couldn't make any progress. You'd better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Why is he in the kitchen?! I mean, I guess you gotta- you gotta eat good before you do something like this, right? Oh, it's this one. I almost forgot. 
No, I understand that part, but... Okay. Did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? Shh. Are you speaking with headquarters? Yes, I'll fill you in after. Now shh. I thought I left this at Johnny's bed. Oh yeah, where'd you find that? I thought you shh me. Temporarily unshushed. Oh, ain't I lucky. Well, I found the rabbit in the lighthouse last night. There are a bunch more of them, uh, there. And in the basement, too. Ah. Hmm. Alright, resume. Shh. Hey. So, can I just, like, leave now? I guess. Why is it dark? Why do you turn the light on? Just kidding. I- when I cook, like, I literally don't turn the light on in the kitchen, and Jonathan's always like, what are you doing? And I'm like, it's calming. He's <laughs> like, put the light on. <laughs> You're really- oh. <sighs> I heard him making phone- yeah, but what- He shh me. What am I supposed to do if I'm shh? No! If you, like, start walking up the stairs, it makes you go the whole way. Oh, but Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, what? Uh. Those two shouldn't have stayed up that late, but I sh should have watched them. Well... It's not an everyday circumstance, I know, but I'm just so exhausted. I'm sure you are even more so. I really need to take a seat. If there's anything you wanted to ask, let me sit down first. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful, too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do. And eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so he stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. May I'll come back to visit every once in a while, maybe. Oh wait, I- oh, sorry. This one. So what are you going to tell them about John? I- I don't know, I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays, they'll figure it out. Might as well, it's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? No, no, no more questions. Oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that- you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but he wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Oh my god. Hmm. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount. 
Its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies. That should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger. Something that exists strongly in the bridging inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the butt for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. No, we gotta- we gotta go do stuff! What? He's- we don't have much time. Um, forgot my coffee. <laughs> we don't have much time. Why were you taking beta blockers? <gasps> it smells! Quit barging in and out of the doors! The roadkill, Eva, it smells! <laughs> I know, it's your fault for running over it. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory, the one we were stuck at. It was the same smell. <laughs> Whoa, oh, <laughs> we're gonna go bring the roadkill to John? <laughs> what are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I'm, what? He means that the smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as a stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny's unconscious, he's still susceptible. I... I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on the whole thing. Alright, this is good. This is awesome. Now you just need to go fetch a piece of the roadkill. <laughs> yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it! Exactly, I've already done my part! Oh, you miserable person. Um, if it helps any, I... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. Teamwork, yep. <laughs> they aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. Right, you're gonna make me walk all the way down to get the roadkill? Oh my god. <laughs> Why? Is there a way to, to speed? Can I go faster? What? Let me run. Huh? Deja vu. Right? Deja vu. There it is. The kind of things this job gets me into. <laughs> it's not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valve container in the car. It'd at least make its odor controllable. Hmm? What's going on? Where are you going? I... I gotta take a leak! There's a bathroom! <sighs> Typical. What a mess. The crash shook everything up. Let's see. Ah, here it is. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. I was wondering why they, like, would have brought that up. Like, oh, we can still smell the roadkill. Or we can smell it from here now. Because, like, I'm like, okay, maybe that's just supposed to be funny. But it was relevant to the story. 
I like how they did that. Huh? Oh, hey. Did you get that road kill? It's ready. Great. Go get it set up. I'll be right back. Where are you? No, seriously, where are you going, though? You're really gonna go to all the way down here just to pee? I... I gotta... Gotta go feed my digital pet. What? Yeah, dudette. I've been feeling retro. Anyway, hurry and go set things up. I'll be there in no time. What are you... We got someone dying back there. What is he doing? He must have an idea, though. What the potato is he up to? No time to check on him now. What the heck? Why is he being sus? So, when we get to that exact point, I'll send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it mattered to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Luck's the last thing we need. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Boom, boom. Here we go. Let's try the soccer ball again. Let's go. Uh oh. To think that this little thing's causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it to outer space! I suppose all we can do now is send the signal and hope. Well, ready? Oh, true. We haven't done it yet. Release the roadkill. Ugh. Something's happening. Quick, send it again! What's going on? Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over for me, Lily. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. Because of the stench? What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out! What? Get out of his memory now! What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. You've got to be kidding me. Why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under this state, all of our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny... Oh, you freaking... Don't pull that contrived crap on me! This ain't a movie and you're no hero. You're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the heck out of here. Screw that. If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Ollie Stare. Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill. Dang it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. <laughs> He's stable. Doctor? I think we're okay for now. Yay! It worked! I think. Maybe. Wait. And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks! Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, and at the last Christmas party, you... Oh. Come on. Let's go before that happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? <laughs> uh. 
Can we walk across now? What? Maybe we just need to reset. This time. Here goes nothing. Got this. We got this. We're going. We're going. <sighs> oh, there we go. Yeah, I know. He jumped from my PC over there. He's wild. Wow, I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. <laughs> what do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Oh, uh, what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I, I suppose not. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. What? What was in there? Oh, can you? Ah! There we go. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You've got to take them there one day. What are we doing? What are you doing? Sheesh, the time overlaps getting out of hand. Look at how many of him there are. It's like a zoo. <laughs> it looks like the ball's moving around on its own and he's just chasing it. Mm-hmm. Roadkill. Ah, thanks to this little fella's sacrifice, I hope. Oh jeez, look at the time. Better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Well, this is the end of the road. And you were saying? Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place. It's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... We need to go back now. Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come. What is it? This music is like, it's suspenseful. What? Oh, does he get like run over? Oh, that's probably why he's on beta blockers, because he's... Oh, that's so sad. Oh no! Oh no! I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. What? Didn't you see it in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. What? Oh, he had a twin? Joey! <gasps> oh! Joey, can you hear me? Joey? Why did you hit Joey, Ma? No! This is so sad! No! Why did you hit him? Joey, wake up! Oh no! Oh no! Venno! Joey! He's getting riled up from me. Even 
What time is it? I, I usually do this. Even though they were young, to lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. At least Johnny's had the beta blockers erase the memories. Hey, come here. Come here. What the heck? Come here. Come here. Up. Up. Yes. Up. Up. Come on. Hey, come here. You're being naughty. You are being very naughty. Not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seems to have gone a little kook. At least, I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. Oh, it makes sense. But if she then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. Uh, <laughs> Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Odd, it's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. Play this freaking dog. <laughs> oh no, stop. Dude. You should totally give this series a try. I mean, really. It's just wicked awesome. I've already plowed through three books straight. What's it called? Animorphs! It's about this group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. Meh. I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're all like, rawr, rawr. Rar rar rar, and then they pick up lasers, and it's all pew 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 pew. <laughs> Stop that! Just watch Johnny. One day, I'm gonna be a famous writer. I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich and buy both you and Ma really big houses. How would you get rich if you give away the books for free? Free for the kids. The parents will still have to pay, of course. Yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. <laughs> what? You're still mad about the other day? Aw, oh, come on. I called first dibs on the train fare and square. What happened to your prize anyway? I gave it away. What? Look, it's not just about that day. You know Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter? And the time we went fishing? And... Okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yup. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll just get me another one, right? Listen, Johnny. What difference does it make who owns what? Everything's uh, everything that's mine is yours too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on, you're my twin brother, dude. I'm back. You're like a part of me. I know my dog is. He's so naughty. He wants something. Well, here he just went out, but he wants something else. Right. <laughs> Look at him. He's he's totally buttering me up. Hey. I tried to like feed him on like a normal, like a normal eating schedule. You know, since I have like a weird sleep schedule, right? I go to bed like when some people would wake up. So like I usually feed them at like 4 a.m. About. <laughs> for breakfast. But he is so naughty. Oh my gosh. You're so cute, though. You're like a part of me. Oi! Let's go confuse the neighbors! Uh, wait. In the rain? Yes, in the rain. Come on! I don't, why do you want so many kisses? Hmm? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> you looking at me like Kermit. I just like, I feel, I feel I shouldn't feed him too early, you know? Cause then he'll beg early. Some kind of carnival, huh? Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we can, this is giving me Stardew Valley vibes. How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering and go already. Aw, you ruined it. Well, this is very happy. Finally, something happy. <laughs> but I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a teddy bear instead? No, I just want the train! Now, now, John, don't make a scene. Joey won it fair and square, didn't he? But I won too! He just went first! It's okay, I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny? Okay, you dumplings, don't block the stand now. Come, let's go see what's over there. I'm not a dumpling. <laughs> Johnny, poor Johnny. You know what? I'm gonna call you dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. <sighs> Maybe I should just feed them a little early, because he is, he, he must be really hungry. Like, oh, she has ears. Right. That's what you want? Oh, you're so spoiled. Oh, careful. Oh my gosh. No, don't go over it. Don't go over the ledge thing. Okay. He always wants to jump over the armrest. And I'm like, that is so not a good idea. Ah, yes. Fortunes of Wonder are ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer and this one a doctor. Oh my. Come on. I'm getting both of you treats. I'm back. Oh, yeah. Hey, where's my tip? Fires three bars of memory. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. They said they're getting... I can't say the word. T-R-E-A-T-S. So I need to figure out where that would be. Look at the cute little Ferris wheel. Welcome and behold, the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can we ride it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not! <laughs> Looks like someone just glued some chairs to a water wheel. Don't know, don't care. Okay, but there's a memory. Fruits, fresh fruits, apples, oranges, and tomatoes. We got it all. Wait a minute, tomatoes aren't fruits. Uh, yeah, they are. They are the ovaries of the plant and contain seeds. That's what a fruit is. But come on, tomatoes? We never ever refer to them as fruits. We? Who? I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take cooking very seriously. Oh my god. Why is he like that? Uh, hey, is that a whack-a-mole? whack a -la? whack a mole You take a mallet and whack moles. Isn't that animal abuse? They're fake moles, butthead. It's how people blew off steam before FPS were invented. How primitive. Yeah, it's... Uh, where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Want to play? Just wait, can I actually play? Yes. Oh, oh, I'm actually going to play Whack-A-Mole? This is so fun! <laughs> Some of them have such cute little faces. up let's see now out of 44 total target appearances you struck 52 times and made 40 successful hits that's a 90 percent hit rate it's your new record oh that was so fun okay now we can go down to that one area oh might as well save i didn't mean to click that but might might as well okay I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? 
They're just so sour and icky. Oh no, he, he didn't like olives. And now he likes olives. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. Nah, I don't even want to taste regular olives. You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows, maybe you'll like it. Yeah. Nah. I'm done though. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground and not an inch too far. Just leave that bag. I'll keep it for you. No, it's time. I know you can see his heart monitor. It's so painful. <laughs> it seems to be going strong, though. He seems to be doing okay. Hmm, what do I need to click? Oh, got it. All right. Ah! What? Way to follow mom's orders, huh? <laughs> hey, he's an adventurous kid. Oh my god, where's he going? You're about to get in trouble, Johnny! Johnny! Uh-oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Johnny, you're at a cliff! Wow. Oh, it's so pretty. Whoa. Well, okay, so we wandered off the trail and found a cool place. But let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah? There was a hill outside of the city that we'd stay at, the same one every year. We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did mostly. He just carried the telescope for me, of course. The thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and hid the telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I'd actually slept. So, in conclusion, that's the story of how I started my caffeine addiction. <laughs> You're terrible. I know. It's a shame, though. All these nice memories lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Mm hmm Oh, heck. I told you packs of tigers dwell here. What, what is it? Oh my god, sorry. I must spit out my drink. <laughs> Hello! Wait, don't go! I'm Johnny, what's your name? Cool. <laughs> You're at my spot. Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Um, you want to join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? This is so cute. Oh my god. What is this? 
this look at him did you know there were so many lights in the sky yes oh I did too <laughs> You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then. <laughs> oh, River. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's seen John. Even in India? Probably. It's okay. <gasps> What's wrong with that? Hmm? What's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. Uh, I suppose. What do you think those stars up there are anyways? My dad said they're giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos, stuff like that. Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Um, of other things? Never tried a rabbit, though. <laughs> Do you want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever. <laughs> Let's see who makes one out first. Okay, we'll start in three. Three, two, one, and I see it. <laughs> oh, where? In the sky. But where in the sky? Think big. Uh, bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see it. Tell me what you see. There, right? There's the two ears and head. What else? What do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there, and they want to talk to them. But they can't, because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from afar. <laughs> so that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Why you? <laughs> because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. That bag, what's in it? Oh, it's a prize I won for whack-a-mole. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What'd you get from it? I, I got a thing. <laughs> I don't really know what it is. Oh, is that the platypus? I hate everything. Some kind of weird duck, beaver thing. 
May I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny! <laughs> Eek, that's my calling. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best in that game. Uh, will you be here next year? Yep, will you? Yes. Same place, same time? Yes. What if you forget or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. <laughs> what? <laughs> right on the rabbit's tummy. sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. <sighs> Alright. I'm sorry. I need the tissue or something. <laughs> if they ever get lost? Wait, does that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. Here I thought this was going to be an inspiration childhood dream story. I should have known that some girl would come along and turn it into a cheese fest. I well, suppose now we know what we must do to set it to the Hold on. Oh, wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. It's what we are contracted to do. Hey, Eva, wait! Eva. Uh. I know you're in here. Ugh. Eva! <laughs> oh, there you are. What are you doing? Turn around. Neil. I know what you're planning to do. I know what you know. Yeah? Well, I know that you know that I know. Look! Our contract is to send him to the moon! And the only way for that to happen is if Johnny is motivated to do so. But if that means removing River, then what's the point? The reason why he even wants to go to the moon in the first place is because she died! I know, but we are legally bound by the contract to specifically... Heck the contract! I didn't take this job to make him miserable, Eva! I don't know about you, but I've signed up to help the freaking geezers die happy! Me too, and I like this job. But if we directly go against our legal obligations, we'd be in for court hearings. We'll appeal. We know that Johnny'd be happier to not go to the moon. Johnny would be happier with a lot of alternate life tangents, Neil. We are not here to play God. Our job is to give him what he signed for. Well, we happen to know what he wants better than he does. Look, I'm only risking losing River because I believe in her and... What do you mean risk? You're removing her! And besides, I will make up for it. Make up for it how? Oh, I don't like this. We're running out of time! Just trust me. Says the one who pushed me off the lighthouse. <laughs> Did you just... What is she doing? Freaking light data. If using your powers doesn't disable my controls entirely, Eva. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Whoa. Booby traps. Really, Eva? Just trying to buy some time. Gee, thanks for telling me. Oh, come on. Oh. oh. No. Oh. 
I thought maybe if I... Okay. Oh, you know what? No. <laughs> I suck. How am I supposed to... Those are some expensive pieces of equipment you're tossing. Seriously, just stay put and wait till I'm done. I don't know what to do because... How, do, how am I supposed to... Oh. Eva, stop! Make me exit this whole thing and unplug you. Would you really risk distorting his memories as they are? Just stop trying, please. This won't take long. Oh, not again. Or come and find me at the end of the hall. End of the hall. Oh my god, stop. Oh, you've got to be freaking... Is this a game to you, Eva? Dear lord, they aren't just zombie Evas. They're zombie Evas! What is happening? Don't come any closer. I got plants! God, they're right here. Wait. Ah, heck. Oh, these things are good for something after all. What? How? She's at the end of the hall, right? This is intense! I- <laughs> Oh my god, wait, it's looping. It's looping. Why is it looping? I don't like it. And there's boulders. Of course, of course there are boulders. Okay. Zombies. This whole thing is just a loop! Oh, heck this. Oh, look what I did. I created a rift! What the? Eva? What happened? Eva? Oh my god. Johnny? Oh, Johnny, where are you going, buddy? What else? Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Now the whole construct's messed up. Oh my god. Just tell me what it is. I've always thought they were lighthouses. Oh, this is so not good. Oh my god. Oh! It's finished, River. She won't be alone anymore. What is it like? Just the responsibilities, I suppose. What is it? Whoa, that's both of them talking about me. I just, I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people, Nick. <laughs> uh. Help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Oh. Everything is merging together. Stop. What is this dancing? What is this? 
can't tell what that is. Oh, it's the two of them! Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. Oh, I need to save anyway. I keep doing this on accident. Oh, there is autosave. Nice. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, hello! Wait, don't go! I'm Johnny. What's your name? Mm, Johnny? There's a soccer ball. It's becoming a horror game. <laughs> Look, it was a long time ago. There's no date or time, Johnny. What? Ziva, you idiot. No. We're the only ones here. <laughs> Listen, whatever you've been doing, stop it. We might not know what Johnny wants, but we know what he doesn't want. And what he doesn't want is exactly what you are accelerating. It's already done, Neil. No, why don't you come out now? Stop it! Maybe they'll go to the moon together. Right? Right? Maybe it's a happy ending. Maybe they go to the moon together. Maybe it is what he actually wants, and maybe they go together. Right? Right? No. Why'd you erase her? Did you- No, she's right there. We're good. She's still there. It's okay. Huh? Ah! Put her back! What did you do to her? Relax. She's merely going elsewhere. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. You need to stop. I'm sick of this. Stop it. <laughs> you know, it's one thing to disable my controls to feed me some olives. But this is way out of line. I'm sorry, but this just won't go anywhere if you keep on resetting the memory. At this point, this is the only way. I'm asking you to trust me. So please, just calm down and wait here. Then just pull the trigger already. Where are you going? <laughs> There's just one last thing I need to do. Poser, there's no need to visualize a door. What's with all this melodrama, Neil? Why are you fighting so hard for this? Maybe he relates in some way. Forget it, there's no time. You just shut the door on me. Everything will be alright, man. Just turn around. Okay, okay. Hey, what are you? Shh. Oh no. Hello? Sorry, kid. Saving him doesn't justify it. Stop with the music. I swear to goodness. I... <laughs> he can always find another river, Neil. No, he can't! Stop! <laughs> well, I only have one brother. Come on, we're in the way. This is horrible. Well, I mean, I'm glad that his brother lived, but like... What? Don't 
change it. Steps, one deep breath. Everything is alright. What? Chin up. I can't step into the spotlight. This is horrible. She's Why? They better make this happy in the end. Somehow without any words. I just stood there searching for an answer. <laughs> when this world is no more, the moon is all we'll see. Is he going to say an astronaut? I hate everything so much. No! Until the stars all fall down They empty from the sky Ah! But I don't mind If you're with me And everything's still be you know like she didn't fully get rid of him they might they might still meet and fall in love and go to the moon together if you're with me and everything's I don't want him to go to the moon. I am tired of it. No. <laughs> is that her? Listen. Who is that? Huh? He actually made it, huh? Guys, they might become astronauts together okay just hold on <sighs> he actually made it huh you sound surprised whatever happened we always succeed because we are awesome <sighs> this isn't a success lighten up we're in nasa we don't have much time left let's at least check this place out i don't uh head hurts. Please wait here. Someone will come and show you around shortly. What are you doing, John? How pathetic all this trouble just for some girl. That's what I thought you'd say, Neil. How pathetic all this trouble just for some girl. There you go. Good to have you back. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. He really likes this backpack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let him. Does that not count as a thing? What? I am destroyed. This is terrible. How many times have I cried? Too many. Okay. 
Like, yeah, I wanted to cry, but dang. <laughs> this is, like, really... <gasps> it really delivered. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? Stop. You don't have time to just stare at him. Okay, but nothing's working. I don't get it. Do I have to go back down? <laughs> to the moon. The story about a lame duck's attempt to become an astronaut. A novel by Joey? I can't believe this crap actually sold. He actually made a book. <laughs> this isn't the real world, Neil. Well, I got a memory. Can I go up here now? Mm. Is it me or is this elevator smaller on the inside? <laughs> is this Joey? Joey here? This is the mission control center, or is it actually... Wait, is it John? I can't tell. <laughs> There's not much going on now. Will you see it live one day? I have expected to see Zordon on that screen. It's not here. Uh, what? Let's just go. I mean, I guess it's John. But like, her, I guess the outfit's throwing me off. Floor three? Nope, wait, no! Oh my god. Was the moon landing? Let's not kneel, let's not. We went to the moon in 1969. Not 1970, but a year sooner. And here's the centrifuge. If you're lucky, you'll learn to hate it one day. Ah yes, the spinny thingy. It's not here either. What are you talking about? Come on, we don't have long left. I hope the real NASA has bigger elevators. <laughs> the shuttle's still under heavy maintenance. We may only view it from here for now. Ugh, this isn't good. Perhaps there's somewhere we missed. Ugh, you need to work on your communication skills. Oh, uh, what? Whoa. Yeah. You know what's the best part of it? What? The very top and bottom of the shuttle. I'd have to agree. Oh, how I pity anyone who can't see those particular parts. Indeed, especially its nose at the top. When maintenance finishes, it probably won't look the same. Yeah, now's the only time. Now we can go to that one door. The one at the, the first floor? I think it was the first floor. I wonder if the real NASA looks like this. Probably not. It's constructed in part with Johnny's beliefs, after all. Ah, yes, yeah, so a wiki of existing facts tainted by personal fairy tales. It's odd, though, to hear birds and see none. Sorry, Neil. I really thought there was a good chance. What? Somebody keeps walking with him. And this is the break room. Here's David. He's a mission specialist. Nice to meet you. I could have sworn like there was somebody who walked in with him with like like the silhouette had like a dress on. At least he got into NASA, I guess. You think he made it to the end? Even if he did, it'd take more than just a few years to become an astronaut. Let's hurry and find the last link then. I'd hate to miss the finale. I'm... I'm nervous. What's going on? His heart! His heart! Are we out of time? I... I don't know. Yeah. 
I knew it, but I'm still emotional. I had a feeling, but I still... Here's our other new recruit. River, right? Good to have you on board. Hello, I'm John. I almost thought she wasn't. What the? Eva? But you deleted her. No, I told you, I just moved her. What she does with her life here is still up to her. But this new world, it's based on public data and Johnny's own beliefs. And since River's data as an individual is not recorded in the public domain, it all comes from Johnny. But even then, that merely increases the odds. How are you sure that it would work? I wasn't. I had a feeling she had good intentions. It could have gone very badly, you know. You were never one to take risks, Neil. Let's just say I won this round. We still have the two spare helmets, right? I think Johnny would appreciate some company. himself apparently yeah he did rather repetitive if you ask me though <laughs> what's it called to the moon it has an official title now I like that name Oh, there you are. You two should go get some rest. Tomorrow's the big day. They're gonna go to the moon. want to be an astronaut too, Dad. One day, son, you just might. <laughs> oh, huh? You know, there were quite a few times last night when I thought we lost Johnny. I think he consciously held on to wait for you two. He's rather patient then. I just hope it's worth the wait. Go on now, your colleague is waiting. Hey, Dr. Watts, right? Thank you for letting us in here. Yeah, yeah, he was the one who requested it. Did you find out why he wanted to go to the moon? Sure. And what all happened here? 
Let's just say it was a bunch of savvy cheese that sorted itself out. <laughs> you know, he's probably, it probably hit close to home for him because he's in love with Dr. Rosaline, okay? Let's be honest. I thought this might be a good view. Good enough to cut off the traffic, eh? Sure, even if they were real. Well, this is it. All we've worked for. Ready to initiate it? <laughs> like already crying. Come up here! Oh, uh, why? Why not? Mm, you're just gonna push me up the ledge again, aren't you? Probably. But the view's worth the odds. Come on. What? Is he dying? Please stop. They need to go to the moon, okay? Because one day I'm going to befriend one of them. Yeah? Don't hit the birds! Don't hit the birds! So, they really get to do these things, too? That's his heartbeat! <laughs> Such a mess. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. I wish there were more games like this. Like 
Sometimes I just want to play something short, you know, and like still cry. <laughs> it was so good. And this game was so much more than just like, you know, like a love story. Like the way that they touched on like neurodivergency also was, it really, I related a lot. I related a lot to River. And yeah. Ugh. So good. So good. Wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they both have their their graves next to each other. Here he is. Thanks. Off you go now. I still can't believe Johnny just willed the house to Lily like that. Who else was there to give it to? Us? Wait, I think I read that wrong. Terrible place for burials, though. <laughs> if there's a landslide, they'd be swimming with the fishes. Still a little too soon. Nah, it's never soon enough. Nice new ringtone. Hello, Eva here. We're on our way. New patient? New patient. Let's roll. Oh, wow. My head hurts. I'm in pain. <laughs> I had no idea like what themes this game was gonna have. <laughs> I just heard it was sad. And I knew it was about like a guy who's like dying. <laughs> That's all I knew. <laughs> I missed something at the end. I saw it flash a little bit. That's bad. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> That's really bad. It's fine. I didn't expect to start crying so hard at the part where Isabel was like explaining the condition. Cause like I didn't expect the condition to be autism because it it was like they made it seem like it was like a deadly illness. So that was kind of confusing. But then I started to kind of like pick up on it over time. And then yeah, the way like Isabel was explaining it. I didn't expect that, and I just freaking lost it! <laughs> because I relate to that so much. Wow. I want to play it again. <laughs> Not right now. In a couple years. <laughs>